Hey guys, Jake and James here with another tutorial. This time we're going over three different ways to create a freeze frame within Adobe Premiere Pro. Yep, so let's jump right into it. Obviously create your sequence, find the clip you want. We're just gonna scroll through now to find the right frame that we want, and we'll go from there. Look at that flying kick, god damn. So to start off, all you're gonna wanna do is right click on your clip and go to insert frame hold segment. Now all this is going to do is it's going to cut up your clip and give you a two second freeze frame of that one frame you had stopped on. Now with this clip you can drag it out, make it shorter and it will just stay as that one freeze frame. And it's basically as simple as that. You can move your clips back and forth and all that and it just creates that one freeze to go back into it. Okay, option number two. Again, put your marker where you want to create the freeze frame. This time click add frame hold. Now this does pretty much the same thing but the freeze frame only lasts for as long as was left on the clip, if that makes sense. Now again, you can drag this out um, or shorten it if you need to, but if you've already got your footage edited to the correct amount of time, obviously it's a little bit easier, saves you cutting it up afterwards. Okay, for our final one, we're going to do the export frame option, which is also shortcutted with Shift E. And this basically just saves that as a JPEG. Um, so you just want to choose where you want to save it to. We'll quickly put it onto our desktop. Name the file whatever you want to keep yourself organized, but remember to also tick import into project. This way the JPEG itself will just appear right into your project and you can drag it straight in. This is also a really good way to get your thumbnail freeze frame whatever you want as you can take it straight from the project so you're not losing any quality. And you drag it straight in and it does your basic five second JPEG and there you go, another way to do your freeze frame. Cool, so that's it. Hopefully at least one of these is new to you um, and you get to use them in your projects. Thanks for watching. Uh, we shall see you Saturday. Yes, and please remember to subscribe to the channel. Of course. Thanks, James. Hey. <laughs>